Hi guys. Last night I was contacted by a YouTube member with a video request regarding transsexual women and Diana Quicker. Uh, now I think this is a really, really great topic and one that probably should also be covered on the Our Pagan Opinions channel uh, when it's up and running. Uh, because I do believe that it probably will cause quite a bit of controversy, but it is a topic that I do believe uh, would have, will affect a lot of people. And in my personal opinion, um, it's not something that I've heard of too much here in Australia. Um, being that obviously I'm a solitary practitioner, I also don't follow the Wiccan read, and I do believe that transsexual women and Dianic Wicca, it's, it's not something that necessarily, it's still something that would be quite taboo here in Australia, I would feel. Um, it's not something that we would have an issue with on uh, quite a large scale. Um, I've only ever been out to Melbourne City probably once um, and I had the privilege of meeting some fantastic transsexual women um, but I don't see a lot of them on a daily basis even around um, the more popular um, and pop a little bit populated city areas um, so I do feel that is it's not something that I could particularly talk about with a lot of authority because it's not something that I have come across very much in the past but um, for this particular member I'll give it a go and just so I can state here at the start of the video that this is just my personal opinion um, by no means am I, am I an authority uh, to talk on this subject but I do think it's a really really great subject and one that deserves um, a little bit of airtime. Um, so I did make, if you guys can see, a whole heap of notes last night. Um, I tried not to research this topic um, because I didn't want it to sway my initial intuitive uh, answer that popped into my head when I read the question um, of transsexual women not being allowed to specific events slash gatherings in the US um, for example the Goddess Festival as transsexual women are not considered to be real women um, and this person felt quite alienated by this and feels that a lot of other people would feel also feel quite alienated um, as I guess many transsexual women do feel within themselves that they are women uh, there's there's no part of them that is, is doubtful in any way that they're not women um, which I guess is a very valid point um, I'm gonna be really all over the place here because I didn't write any of these notes down um, in any particular order but where to start? Um, I can see both sides of the argument here. So I guess it's a very, very hard subject to talk about because when it comes to women's rights and equality, women feel that they have been oppressed for such a long time by men that we should have the right to have more or less, I guess, in a sense, a girls club without that being impeded on by men. Um, if we look to the men, they have Freemasonry um, and no woman has ever been accepted um, as being a Freemason. So I do understand the argument that when it comes to reclaiming women's rights and se you know, women's sexuality and just you know, the, the empowerment of women on a whole, that I do understand that women just want to keep that for women. Now, um, that being said, I have met a lot of, uh, well not a lot, but I have met quite a few transsexual women in the past and there is no doubt in my mind that they are women. Um, everything about them is feminine, uh, the way they speak, their mannerisms. Um, I believe personally that what we are on the outside is nothing more than a shell. Uh, it is simply the shell that we walk around in every day but it is what is within us it is it, the depths of our soul who, that makes who we are um, you know this is just what we wear what we move around much like a, you know a big fat bear suit it's just a suit it's just what reflects on the outside that people can see but it's not who we are on the inside and in my opinion it's what on is on the inside that is the most important thing um, and if you feel on the inside that you are a woman you're a woman if you feel, if you're a woman who feels on the inside that you're a man, you're a man. Nobody can tell you that you either are or you aren't. Our physical body is nothing more than our physical body. 
Um, now this also being said, I have never nor will ever be a practitioner of Dianic Wicca slash witchcraft. Um, I don't agree with it. I feel that there is a very strong balance within the masculine and feminine energies and I really do not agree. I understand the Dianic uh, belief that the goddess is the giver of life, the womb, and basically who holds all of life within her hands um, and she gives that uh, out to the world. I get that. Um, but unfortunately without, without the phallus, without the male seed, we could not give life. It is, it is a very, very, a very, very strong balance that needs to be held quite, you know, very stably. Um, without men, we, we as a, a humanity, we cannot exist. We, we need men. Um, if it was for nothing more than procreation, we need men. We don't need men to cook for us, we don't need men to clean for us, we certainly don't need men for their money, but for life, for humanity, we need men. Um, my dogs are going to start barking and I'm just waiting for it because I don't want to start this video again. So if I start screaming, that's why. Um, now, um, what have I else have I got here? I think that now I've, I've written all my notes here. I don't. This is the first time I'm doing this video, and I really don't want to do it again. So if I sort of swap, change, and start going all, you know, um, I think where a lot of the problem lies too is that in the <clears throat> I think Paleolithic and Neolithic times, that obviously women were worshipped as being, you know, the, the most sacred thing that existed men worshipped women we were the givers of life and men were the ones that would hunt they were the ones that physically had strength and I think over time of our evolution that line of strength has become blurred and men have used their physical strength to also emotionally manipulate women into feeling that we are the lesser sex and that men have the power because of their physical strength if that makes sense and so I do understand that when we had all these in the you know the 60s and the 70s when uh, women started to become a lot more empowered and we had you know activism became started to become a really big thing that a lot of women spoke up and said hey we're going to reclaim women's rights so in that respect I don't feel that that Dianic Wiccans are purposely going out of their way to form any form of prejudice or hatred towards transsexual women. I simply feel that it is more or less a it's, a, it's a sacred tradition for what, I can't even say real women, for what women believe is only for those who they believe to be real women. I'm, I'm not doing this video again. Um, and so the, the line there, I guess, becomes a little bit blurred in itself because what one considers to be a real woman and what another be considers to be a real woman, perhaps are two different things. I consider a real woman to be whatever that person feels on the inside. If, I, if you feel that you are a real woman, you are a real, real woman. And I don't feel that anybody has the right to tell you that. So when it comes to transsexual women practicing Wicca, if you want to practice Dianic Wicca, go for it. Nobody has the divine right to tell you otherwise. Nobody can tell you that you cannot be a practitioner of Dianic Wicca because you have a penis. If you feel within your heart and your soul that you are a woman, you are a woman. And don't let anybody tell you differently. Um, the only thing that I will have to stipulate here um, is that when it comes to events, unfortunately, Unless there is a protest or, and I don't even think that that would work to be honest, unless something was to majorly change, I think that when any transsexual woman goes to a public pagan event or gathering that is specifically geared towards Dianic Wicca, you may not be included. But if you really feel within your heart and soul that that is the tradition that you want to follow, you can follow it. But you just be aware that, you, yes, you may be discluded um, from those gatherings. But 
I wouldn't be disheartened by that because as far as I'm concerned, and I shouldn't say haters, but it's just the phrase that I like, haters gonna hate. There is always going to be somebody that discriminates against you. It is just your personal integrity to rise above that and say, you know what, whatever. I really don't care what you think. This is how I feel within myself. I'm happy, I'm a beautiful woman, I'm strong, I'm empowered myself, and this is what I will practice. Um, so I would just be aware of that and just also be aware, just look outside the box, you know, there is always going to be people that are racist to Europeans, there will always be people that are racist to Asians, there are always going to be people that are racist to black people, you know, there's people that don't like me, there will be people that don't like you, there's always somebody who is going to form some sort of prejudice, negativity or hatred towards others and you, you can't ever get away from that. You just have to be able to stand tall and be strong within yourself and say, I don't care. Um, this is how I feel. This is the person that I am and I'm happy this way and you can't tell me otherwise. Um, now, what else have I got here? <laughs> I did write some of this last night, so I will sort of wrap it up here, but I... <laughs> It's just in my ramblings of last night, but I did write that the you know that the, obviously many Wiccans, pagans, witches, whatever you'd like to define yourself as, we all believe in the spirit world. We be believe in psychical phenomena. We believe in paranormal phenomena. We believe in reincarnation. But we cannot believe that a man could be a woman on th that a man could feel that they are a woman on the inside. We can believe in all these things that basically cannot be seen as absolute, absolute, absolute fact of existence. We cannot really prove beyond absolute shadow of a doubt that we are reincarnated. We cannot prove it, but we choose to believe that it's possible, but we cannot believe in the possibility of a man being born as a man, but truly being a woman. I hope that makes sense. Um, so I feel that sometimes, you know, it's ignorance. It is pure ignorance. We believe what we want to believe and we leave the rest. And I believe when it comes to Dianic Wiccans, and I'm certainly not speaking for all Dianic Wiccans here. I watch quite a few Dianic Wiccans on YouTube and I absolutely love their channels. I really do. And they have shown me many things that I have not thought of before. Um, so I'm certainly not being prejudiced towards Dianic Wiccans in this video. Um, this is, you know, I feel that there is many very liberal Dianic Wiccans out there and Dianic Wicca is certainly not about the hatred of men in any form. I know that. Um, but I do believe that there are some, not all, but some women who do use that, that path to cite a particular prejudice towards men and I do feel um, that women feel like it's almost a form of acting out as the, you know, from past oppression towards women that, you know, I am woman, hear me roar, and that just the mentality will go on. And men have the same mentality too towards women. So I do feel that there is, um, it does work both ways. And I think in this particular instance, it's one of those things where there's a line, there's man, there's woman. And then they're unfortunately standing right on that line there is transsexual women who are just more or less stuck in the limbo of not feeling that they want to be on the masculine side and they feel that they're more feminine but because of their masculine shell they can't be accepted as feminine so it's more or less being stuck in a very sad limbo um, you know and that, that is really really sad but I do feel that nobody can tell you what that what you need to think, feel or practice. That is completely up to you and if people don't like it well that is just too bad. Um, yes and I also had written here that there is a secret, you know there, there is a need for these secret women's clubs just like the Freemasons have it and the men have their little boys clubs you know when they meet for beer or they go out to the shed. It works both ways so I do, I, I really do understand the need for both um, and I do understand the argument for both sides, I really do. So in that respect I guess perhaps I'm a little bit of a fence sitter but I really do believe that, no actually no I'm not a fence sitter. Um, even if I was a Dianic Wiccan, I try not to hold prejudice towards anybody and if somebody came to me and said, I'm a transsexual woman and I feel within my heart and soul that I'm a woman, I would accept that. I think that I really would because I don't feel that there needs to be any more prejudice, prejudice uh, or negativity within this community. 
there is enough. Let's not continue to fuel prejudice, war and hatred. Let's embrace the beauty of this path and everybody else within it and come together and stand together. You know, obviously united we stand, divided we fall. So let's all stand together uh, and support each other. Um, I'm not seeing enough support. Uh, on YouTube I am, but there are so many other places that I'm not and it really saddens me. But for the most part, that's my opinion on this. I'm sorry if it's been here, there and everywhere. But I think it was a really, really great topic and I didn't want to start and stop and start and stop the video because I wanted to come across as truthfully as I possibly could even if I did stuff it up a little bit. Um, I wanted people to feel what I feel straight off the bat, not what I have sat down and written down and more or less rehearsed before I did this video. I just wanted to come out as naturally and as honestly as I possibly could. So I hope I have. Um, now I will ask at the end of this video if people um, do not agree with the topic in general, um, please don't leave any nasty comments, not only for myself but for those who do follow um, the, the transsexual preference because I have many friends that are transsexuals and I am very very supportive of that lifestyle choice and I believe we are all entitled to live as we choose so if I I will close close comments for approval only um, I'm more than happy to approve any comment but if there's any swearing negativity or just silly comments I'm not going to approve those so I'm just saying that straight up um, but other than that I will approve everything I certainly don't uh, hide comments that I don't like I always approve them so uh, for now I'm going to get going I really hope that um, some of you have gained an insight and I would like this to be discussed a little further if possible so if anybody could do a video response I'd be really really grateful for that um, I definitely feel that there should be some video responses to this in order to get this discussion going and rolling and see where we can go with this um, but other than that everybody knows where to find me uh, Facebook um, it's actually now the Australian Witch is the name, um, but I will put a link in this video. Um, Thepaganvale.com. Um, I won't put my Etsy store up because I'm changing it all. Um, but you can also email me at info at thepaganvale.com if you'd like. Um, and I also have my blog, theaustralianwitch.com, and any support to any of those pages is always extremely welcomed and very much appreciated. So until next time, I bid everyone further adieu and many blessings.